morning. It is 645. We're taking a live look over Hershey. You can see some scattered clouds this morning. The clouds and a gentle breeze keeping our temperatures in the 40s for the most part. And the National Weather Service has now dropped our frost advisory for the morning hours. So I still think you could see a little patchy frost north of the turnpike, but it's not going to be widespread. For the afternoon, partly sunny, cooler, about 58 degrees will be the high. That's 10 degrees cooler than yesterday almost and 10 degrees below average. So a little bit on the cool side today, our coolest day of the week. Tonight, mostly clear, chilly. Temperatures could dip into the 30s again. We could take one more run at frost. Right now, we don't have any advisories or watches posted, but we'll keep you updated throughout the day. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, milder, high pressure firmly overhead. Looks like a nice day, 62 to 66 to end the work week. Right now, we have 37 in Lewistown, 38 in Sealands Grove. It's areas north of the turnpike that could have that patchy frost, but south, the breeze, the clouds, that's been keeping our temperatures in the 40s. 24-hour temperature change, though, it is a lot cooler than it was yesterday at this time by about 10 to 15 degrees. So we've had ups and downs for lows this week, but we're going back down here today and tomorrow. It will be chilly to start. Wind speeds after yesterday was pretty gusty. Today, we will not see that. So if uh, you like the lighter winds for a walk or a run, today's going to be a nice day to get out and about. We'll see wind speeds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Weather and health check today. High levels of tree pollen remain. Our air quality is good. UV index is moderate with a burn time of 35 to 40 minutes. Checking out our Storm Team Live radar network. We're waiting for high pressure to build in. Right now it's across the Great Lakes, moving south, and that will help to erode the cloud cover later today and tonight. So one more night of those cold temperatures tonight as clouds finally part ways with us and high pressure sits right overhead. Tomorrow, notice the high scoots out to sea and clockwise flow around the high is going to drive in southerly winds tomorrow. That's going to help to boost us right back into the 60s for our highs, which is a bit more typical for this time of the year. Now Saturday looks like clouds increase pretty quickly in the morning. You might be able to squeeze out a little bit of sunshine right around sunrise, but I'm thinking mostly cloudy for Saturday. Showers come in with this warm front right in the heart of the day. So around lunchtime through the afternoon, that's when we'll see some light scattered showers. Predictor estimated rainfall totals for those showers coming in at about a tenth of an inch. So again, not a widespread steady soaking of rain, but just a little bit to wet the ground, wet the dirt out there. We haven't had much substantial rain lately. Now the month did start off very wet, but it's ending kind of on a dry note and a warm note too. Look at Sunday's high, 80 degrees. Monday we go with 82. Tuesday is 80. And then we start off May on a pleasant note with temperatures in the 70s, a little bit cooler toward the first weekend of May.